salatu wassalamu alayka ya rasulullah as salatu wassalamu alayka ya habib allah as salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu and welcome back to another video on my channel so if you haven't yet subscribed remember to click the bell icon for you to be notified subscribe so you can watch more videos and alhamdulillah please do remember to leave a comment down below because i personally read them myself um, and I like to respond so I like to communicate with the community that are watching my videos okay so this video is going to be um, more of a, a conversation I know you are not um, there in front of me for me to have a two-way conversation but alhamdulillah I would like to know what your thoughts are and I'd like you to post these underneath through in the comment section so the topic I want to talk about is simple naga. Simple naga is what I'm referring to where the naga is conducted in a masajid. Why is this tradition being lost? When I say tradition, it's more of a Islamic tradition, not the culture tradition that we see in society today where the marriage cannot be conducted without at least 200 people attending the wedding or where the bride cannot be married Oof, if she's not wearing any form of gold no 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 that's a taboo in society that can't happen or her wedding dress needs to be at least 1500 to 2000 pound any less than that she ain't got anything on her isn't that the case i'm right aren't i why are we doing this because even in the Quran, even in all the hadith, if you pick it up, any form of wastage, if you are wasting money, you are the brother of shaitan. Why would you want to do that? So before you expend £2,000 on a lenga, which you probably are only going to wear that one day on your wedding day, and then just keep it as memorabilia, collecting dust for 15 years, 20 years, or even six months, a stuff for if your marriage doesn't last. Why would you want to go through that expenditure? I know for a bride, I know it's the best day of her life. And I know for the groom also, you two souls become one. But this is why, this is why, this is why when you complete and two souls become one, you have completed half your deen. Half your deen is completed by signing off and completing that nagar. So why would you want to do that in a way which is not halal? Why would you want to have music at your wedding? Why would you want to have at least a convoy of 10 cars? And they all have to be limousines, by the way. Having 10 car convoy and having music blasting out the window. If you don't have that, oof, it's not a wedding. Why can't we do it in a massage and keep it small, keep it low key? With the coronavirus, the government limiting our um, attendees to no more than 30, even that, we're trying to stretch and stretch and stretch. Why? Have we not learned anything? Why are we doing this? In my lifetime, I have only ever attended two nagar in a mosque. That's it. And that is shocking. I don't attend any nagars that are held elaborately in a, a venue because I do not like to go to a Astaghfirullah haram environment even though that is where your naga will take place I still consider it a haram environment because your music will be blasting everybody will be dressed to the nines and you could look at it in another way and you could say but that would be you doing dawah because if this is the way I dress and this is how people will see me I will not change my dress code just to go to a glammed up wedding I will still go like this but people could turn this around and say well you could be doing dawah like that because they will look at you and they will look at themselves and think where are we to where we should be but I seriously think if we follow the Quran and the Sunnah the expenditure will be less not only that the burden will be less for the newlyweds because the newlyweds who have just got married they're going to have a lifetime in front of them where they're going to maybe purchase a house maybe go away on holiday maybe spend some time together get to know each other but no we can't be doing that if we've spent all our lifetime savings, all our 10, 20,000 pounds, and God forbid if we took out a loan to get married, we're forever paying that off. 
So please, please, I implore to you, let's encourage simple nikahs, let's encourage nikah, 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 and let's encourage it to be done in the most simple manner, in the most beautiful manner. Yes, dress up, yes, have fun. Alhamdulillah, Islam does not forbid you from that. It only forbids you from extravagant spending, spending that you don't really need to do. Behind closed doors, you could be the most charitable person Alhamdulillah, but if somebody looks at your extravagant wedding and thinks, I need to go over and beyond, they had this at their wedding, I need to make sure I go two, three levels higher, you've added to your sins on your head. Can you afford to do that? Please make sure, Alhamdulillah, that we promote simple nagas. We promote simple nagas. This is the problem us ulama have. The problem that the scholars have, the problems that the imams have, because if they refuse point blank to stop going to venues which are going to be holding these extravagant weddings, then nikahs will probably never take place. And asked for Allah recently, I've been speaking to people and they've been telling me, oh, we can't, we can't go to a masjid to do our nikah. And my question to them is why? Because we're doing it behind closed doors, everyone's going to think there's something wrong with the boy and girl. They've run away and that's why we're doing it in a, in a masjid. Astaghfirullah. At the time of Prophet Muhammad wasallam, the masajid used to be a community hub where events used to take place, where people used to come to conduct the marriages, where people used to come to come together to share the stories, to share the problems. But we're so far away. We really need to bring this back into our masajids and use it as a community hub. Please don't go away from the deen. Come closer, get closer to it. Please spread this message, promote simple nikah, and inshallah, I shall see you in my next video. Look after yourself. Allah Hafiz.